All right, guys. Well, hey, how we all doing? A uh, little tip to tip video that we're gonna be talking to you guys for a quick minute here, showing you guys how to get perfect lawnmower stripes every time. Rob, actually, really quick, if you wanna follow me. If you guys are new to the channel, it's all about helping you guys grow a more successful lawn and landscaping business. So really quick, be, while you're here, maybe consider subscribing and hit the thumbs up. We appreciate it. Uh, let me show you this. So a lot of you guys have been asking us, how do we get perfect stripes? on our lawns every time. How do you get those lawn stripes? Well, a couple quick tips I can give you guys. We're gonna talk about going tip to tip and getting the full width of the lawnmower deck. This is the lawn that we just finished up front. By the way, the lawn is super thick. These guys, you know, just cranked up their irrigation. But you can see we have some really beautiful stripes here up here in Michigan with the Kentucky blue grass. The biggest thing to get those perfect stripes every time is to use the full length of your deck so a lot of folks keep overlapping on that return pass and instead of using 99 percent of the deck they're using 80 percent and every time you use that last 20 percent of that deck that overlaps you're kind of sucking up the grass from those last tire marks and that pass so you get those light stripes dark stripes light stripes dark stripes right so let's do this really quick i'm gonna hop on the mower let's show you guys how we're doing it we're gonna show you two examples here we got this lawn right up front and then the one across the street let's check it out Really quick, couple takeaways. Even a lawn that is this tall, this lush, this thick, this is not weekly growth. Well, this is weekly growth, but they have ratcheted their sprinklers up. I gotta call the customer and tell them to maybe tone that down a little bit. But you guys can see beautiful stripes, even with the thickest lawns that we're cutting Kentucky bluegrass up here. The, the biggest tip I wanna give you guys to get perfect stripes. Now again, if you're down south, the different types of grasses don't really stripe that well, like St. Augustine or maybe Bermuda, uh, at least from what I understand, uh, I'm not down south. But up here in Michigan, the biggest thing you want to do, super simple, is just keep your passes as wide as possible. Now, that's tip number one. Tip number two is when you guys are making those K turns, or those three point turns, or whatever you guys want to call them, uh, the biggest thing I can tell you, or what I've seen at least, is most people aren't going on that return pass, they're not going further uh, as far out as they need to be to reverse to make the next lane. They just kind of come on down and they immediately just kind of swivel back, do a zero turn, and then just come back down almost on their same lane, and they kind of like shimmy it over the best that they can. So you wanna come all the way down, make your turn, you're going to go all the way forward, then back up, and then come on down. Does that make sense? So all the way down, turn, back up, and then come down, and that way you're full length over on your return pass. So what I mean is a lot of people are going down and they're immediately turning around too shallow. And so when they make that return pass, they're overlapping that last pass. So 
Rob, can you see on the lines here uh, on the grass the different light dark, light dark? Oh yeah. And this is what a super thick cut, uh, super thick lawn. Uh, we actually have another one across the street, Weekly Growth. Well, this is Weekly Growth too, but their irrigation system seems to be a little bit more manageable. I want to show you guys another case study, another quick example, and uh, show you guys how we keep doing it. So same thing here, all the way down. Those stripes look pretty nice, not too shabby. If you guys appreciate the stripe game, big thumbs up. If you guys appreciate the, the tips and the fact that we're taking a little bit of time out of our busy day to help you guys grow, big thumbs up on the video as well, appreciate that. Um, so same concept here as the lawn across the street. And hopefully I demonstrate that a little bit more is the wider your mower deck, the 60s, the 72s, the bigger that turn has to be. If you guys have a 48 or a 52, you can kind of turn back on yourself but the, the bigger deck, you have to go all the way out, swoop back, and then go all the way down. Um, so tip number one is to use the full length of the deck. Tip number two, widen out those turns. And then tip number three, and it's often overlooked, uh, use high lift blades and scrape your deck. I mean, every single day you should be cleaning out your mower deck, changing those blades to keep them as sharp as possible. That's going to get the highest lift, and then also the freshest cut that you can get. And you're gonna get some beautiful stripes just like this and then also you know best practices like watering and fertilize to maintain the lawn those always help too when you have good customers with good lawns so this is my quick little how-to video called tip to tip this is what we do to get those beautiful stripes hopefully it helps you guys out what's your guys' technique i'd love to know if you guys do something similar do you guys do something different on your k turns leave me some comments down below i'd love to hear what you guys are doing out there and it all helps the community grow all right guys if you're new here don't forget to consider subscribing to the channel super appreciate the love and the support look forward to catching up with you guys here on the next one